Through training and coaching, I've had the privilege of working in every role in the electronic support section over the last 10 years. We're a really close-knit group, and we've got the responsibility of doing really important work supporting the experiments here at ISIS. is one of the first instruments that's being built at the ESS. It's a great project to work on because we're designing everything from scratch, which is always good fun. We're working with scientists and technology groups from the ESS, which is a really nice way to work because we can take their concepts and requirements and bring our own engineering experience and knowledge to deliver the instrument at the end. Collaborating in this way allows us to ensure the success of the instrument, but it also allows us to contribute knowledge and information and experience to the wider ESS facility as well. So it's a collaboration from many European facilities and working together with them, we can learn from each other for ESS and for the facilities elsewhere in Europe. to work on the high performance, low cost ventilator project. That was a really great opportunity to work with people across the STFC network. So that's experts from all over the UK and abroad, because I got to use my engineering skills and experience in a real world context. Um, so I was involved with the software team and I was doing the risk analysis and it was just really great to be involved in something so meaningful and that was a really unique opportunity I got uh, through working here at ISIS. What I like about working at ISIS is how holistic the job is. Uh, we get to work on every phase of the project and our components are built at ISIS. Currently, we're working on um, ISIS-2, which will be the next version of ISIS, a facility that should come together in about 20 years. And we're getting to work really closely with our accelerator physicists on several different designs, some of them a bit more traditional, but then we're also working on some really unique designs that have never been built before within the world. Um, and I'm really excited to see just how good of a facility we can make ISIS-2.